Hi guys, this is Hyunmin Max, aka Max. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So these cards, right, might be required in SBCs and we can potentially, right, end up doubling our coins like what we did with our team of the weeks previously. I'm of course going to talk about the market as well as what to invest in. So yesterday, we got a premium footage center back in the shape of Sanju State. Let's take a look at the card itself. Medium high, 3 star, 5 star. Fantastic pace, right? Um, fantastic interceptions, defending as well as physical, doesn't have the power hater trait, looks like a pretty decent card. The best thing for me about this is the fact that he's actually a premium footies, so he gets like full chemistry on his own, given that he's actually in a very tough league, right, to link itself. So the requirements is actually just a 85 rated squad with one team of the week or one thoughts, comes up to about 59k. This is very very cheap, I would say, and it's probably gonna do pretty well for you, especially if you need like a decent center back. So I would say, you know, you can actually right just go and um get that done. So we actually gotten a re-release as well, or rather the refresh of your 93 plus Tots or Shapeshifter player pick. So it's just an 87 with a Tots team of the week and then 89 rated squad. So that was some of the content that we have gotten yesterday. So we also know that we will actually have the upgrade packs itself, right, in the form of your mix league upgrades. This is um one segment that is actually out, and the other segment that made cards fly, right, it's actually this premium mix league upgrade. So if you guys actually have um league on players, go comments, right, um even your bronze, right, from Marseille or Monaco, right, you guys should go and check, especially your league on cards, right, some of them actually went extinct, right, at 10k yesterday. So if you are not doing this SBC, go and check your clubs, right, and then go and see if you have any cards that are selling for a lot. The reason why people are rushing to do this, right, it's because, right, it actually gives you XP, that's the reason why. We have also gotten the um, ultimate bronze upgrade as well yesterday. Let's actually take a look at the requirements. It's just 11 bronze commons and you get 7 silver rares. So this is a good SVC to actually do if you actually, you know, grind the manuals. I'll talk about how to do it in a bit. And then we also have your ultimate silver upgrades. The requirements, just 11 silvers, right, for 8 gold common players, which is fantastic value in my opinion. So what you want to be doing is go and do the bronze pack method, right? Go and open up bronze packs in the store using coins. Sell those that has value. Those that doesn't have value, go and chuck them into this ultimate bronze upgrade itself. After you have done that, you're going to get your silver players. Go and open up your pack and then chuck your silver players right here. And then you'll actually get your 8 gold common players. So what are you going to do with your gold commons? My guess is they're actually going to be required for your 80 plus, right? player pick later on tonight. This is actually a very, very big clue in my opinion. So what you want to be doing is you can actually invest in your gold commons at between 300 to 350 coins very easily on bid right now. So you can go and do that, just pick them up. Very, very easy to do, especially if you have a um, very, very low budget, like 100k or 200k, right? That is something that you can do. Hopefully we get a crafting upgrade objective like we have had with seven year during level up itself. So if you get that, your gold commons will very easily, right, double to 700 coins. So I hope we get that. Now, we also got a um, 80 plus, right, Premier League player pick on Saturday in FIFA 22 itself, right? I know it's Monday right now. And I think that, right, it should be coming today as well. Right? Um, it will probably require your gold rest, right? People will definitely try to do it because why? You have um, Julian Alvarez, right, and Gomez, right, as cards that you can pack. So I'll pick up Gomez easily, right, at between 600 to 650 coins max. Go and pick them up. And if we have the player pick that requires Gomez, right, or a couple of Gomez, right, your Gomez will actually go up. No risk there. So let's take a look, right? So on this day itself in FIFA 22, right? What did we actually get? So like I mentioned, right? We gotten a 80 plus Premier League player pick on a Saturday itself, which we didn't get. And an 82 plus player pick also. So you guys might be wondering, right? Why are we downgrading again? Why are we downgrading from like an 81 plus, an 82 plus player pick we have gotten a few weeks back down to an 80 plus player pick? 
I think that is because, right, EA will very likely, right, release a better upgrade. So maybe instead, we're definitely getting the 80 plus player pick. So instead of like a 80 plus Premier League player pick, maybe we get an 82 plus Premier League player pick, right? Um, we could also potentially get like an 80 by 3, similar to what we got last week for your level up. I'm very sure, right, that we will see kind of two upgrade packs of picks. So the 80 plus confirm, and then the other one, it's a question mark as to what kind of upgrade pick or pack we will get itself, right? It could even be, you know, the 80 plus player pick, right? Instead of one or three that we have gotten all the while, it could be one or four, and then that might be the only um, upgrade that is out in terms of your player picks or packs itself. So that's something that I think we should see today. So if you actually take a look, right, on Monday, we got a 85 by 10 in FIFA 22 as well. And this has been a trend that we have been seeing for the past few weeks as well, right? During level up, last week, we got a 85 by 7. So this was um, definitely more unique because the requirements were 88 rated squad with an inform or thoughts. So take note, right, that this was the first time in a very long time, right, whereby in this kind of 84 or 85 kind of upgrade packs, right, they actually require informs or thoughts. Most of the time, they actually didn't. If you guys remember, right, your 85 by 7, right, during shapeshifters, right, the requirements were just simply an 84 rated squad with 385s and an 86 rated squad. So they actually did not require inform or thoughts most of the time, right? And last week was actually the first time that they required thoughts and inform itself. That is something to take note of. However, right, if I had to guess, right, I think they probably will require thoughts and inform, right, if I had to make an educated guess since they did require it last week. So we, like I already mentioned, we already have a leaked birthday Maldini SBC. He didn't come yesterday, so he might possibly come today. That's something that you can look out for. So let's talk about what to invest in, right? So for your 83s, I already said, right, you can pick up your 83 still right now at 850 coins. You should be lazy listing them at 2.6k on both PC and console. And um, you'll actually get some sales there. I've already spoken about this and some of the people in my Discord has already sold them. I'll show you guys later on. So for your 84s, right, both console and PC players, right, 2.4k max, 2.2k on bid. So for your 84s, right, you want to be lazy listing them at 3k on both console and PC. I already spoken about Di Maria as well, right, we picked them up at 2.7k. For your console players, right, lazy list them at 4k, and then for your PC players, 4.9k, right. You guys are already making very, very good coins off this Di Maria investment itself. So I want to talk about what is this specific cards, right, that will be required, right, that can actually double in price. So let's take a look at this. These are all the cards in Footy's Batch 1. So my guess is, right, in FIFA 22, we actually had specific requirements. So what they did was, for example, in FIFA 22, they required Winter Wall cards in SBCs, right, similar to how team of the weeks and thoughts are actually required in SBCs. So I can definitely see EA doing this again. I know we have um, lots of, you know, different type of cards in packs, right? Like out of position, centurions, and then we have ones to watch, so on and so forth, right? But I went through the list and if I had to make an educated guess, right? My guess is they probably would require two types. Winter wild cards are my pick as well as your centurions, right? So if they are actually required in SBCs, we are going to be making so much coins. So we are going to be doing what I call right double investments. So you invest in the card as an 88 rated card, as well as them being centurions, right? And required in SBCs itself, right? So that's a double investment. So they are very likely to go up itself. So what are we doing right, is you can actually pick up Vardy for your console players, right? 11250 max, 10750 on bid. There is no risk because he actually quick sells for 10k, I believe, or 10250, right? So there is no risk there. Your PC players, right? He's actually 13750. You can possibly try to get him at 13k, but even then, I don't think it's actually worth it because your cheapest 88 right now, right? It's actually only 12k itself. So if for your PC players, right, you can just go for your goal rest as a single kind of investment, just as an 88 rated card. So for your PC players, right, 12k max for your goal rest, 11.5k on bid. Now for your winter wild cards, right, we can actually pick up Jack Butlin, 16.5k for your console players, max 16k on bid. PC players, 7250 max, 16750 on bid. Again, 
double investment. We can sell him off as a 89 rated or if he's required specifically for a winter wall card as a winter wall card in SBCs, right? It's going to be great. So I'm going to leave you guys the link, right, for this down below as to what is the full list of the Centurions and winter wall card that we actually have. And you guys can take a look and, you know, pick out which one are the cheapest ones. But definitely your Centurions Vardy, right, and Butlin, right, are actually the cheapest for your respective PC and console. So you can actually go and um, pick them up. So also, right, 92 rated, it's also a good shot as well for today. 26.5k max for your console players, 26k on bid. PC players, 29k max, 28.5k on bid. So all these three, right, are what I really, really like. But, you know, your double investments, right, are definitely the standout itself. So let's go and take a look, right, at some of the other stuff on the market. So your team of the weeks regularly, right, they have been fluctuating, you know, every day at content drop, right, they will just go up to 30k, right? And then when, you know, after content drop, right, they actually, right, go back down to about 28k, which is the prices that they are at right now. So of course, you can pick them up at 28k and then sell them off at 30k, but I don't really like that because all these discard team of the weeks, right, they are price range is only 30k, so, you know, you only have like a 2k margin for your profit, like maximum. If you can get them on bid at 25k, I think that is a very, very... Bit to do, right? Good investment to do. So get them at 25k if you can. At content drop, sell them off at 30k. So you make like almost like 5k per card. So just take note that the tradable team of the week, SBC, right? Actually returns tomorrow. So you definitely right, want to be out of all your team of the weeks, right? Before tomorrow because your team of the weeks will definitely come down in price. Moving on, let's, let's take a look at Fodder Thoughts itself. So for the thoughts, right, again, they have been fluctuating quite frequently at content drop itself. So right now, they are at 31.5k. So easily, right, if they are required later on today at content drop, right, they will easily go to, you know, 33.5k very, very easily. So they'll go up like about 2k per cut. So you can pick them up at 31.5k max, or you can try to get them on bid at 30k. I don't see that being... Um, any risk right there, right? I think you can possibly get them at probably 29k, right? Below 30k itself. So that is the second, you know, investment you can do for your specials. Now, Moments, right, has also been kind of fluctuating up and down a bit. They are down slightly, right? Yesterday, they were at about 16k, right? So right now, they are at 15k. So again, what you want to be doing is you can flip them right now, even right now. I think you can get them on bit at 12k probably and then sell them right back, right, at 15k. So you make close to 3,000 per card. Or you can also actually, right, mass bid on them, right, during content drop, an hour and 10 minutes after content drop, mass bid at maximum 12k, and then sell them right back at 15k. So that is something that you can do at content drop as well, if you guys don't already know. So let's talk about other things, right? I've spoken about this, right, the 90 plus icon player pick. So, there were heroes in your 90 plus icon player pick. Some of you are asking me, right, what happens if I, com if you guys completed some of the squads? So, let's take for example, right, so this is are the requirements, the required squads. Take for example, right, you have completed the 84 rated squad. And because right now the SBC is being removed, what happens? Will you get compensated? What will happen is when the SBC returns, right, your 84 rated squad will be completed, your fodder will be gone. And then as per usual, right, you're just going to complete your 86 rated squad and your 87 rated squad, right, to get your icon player pick. Because what happened the previous time was the same thing. The SBC got removed and when the SBC returned, right, the whatever squads you completed, right, are still the same. So I hope that that clarifies something and definitely you won't get compensated because the, it's exactly the same thing, right? That's all I'm saying. So when will the SBC return exactly, right? This 90 plus icon player pick. The last time there was such an issue with this SBC, right? It only came back three weeks later. I'll be surprised, right? If they come back within the next one to two weeks, to be honest. So easily, right? They will actually at least, right? Take two weeks. So I already spoken about this as well, right? If you actually, right? See heroes in your player picks, you're 100% getting compensated. 
if you didn't see heroes in your player picks, it's kind of up to EA as to whether they want to compensate you or not. Let's talk about the market itself, right? Market has been pretty stagnant because people are actually going out to play games. You know, it has fluctuated quite a bit, right? However, it's not really stagnant. I, I meant it as um, it's actually quite stable, not stagnant. So, you know, if you have some cards, right, I just completed Varan, like Varan itself, right, you probably want to be careful, especially your level up cards, because um, last week, right, for your level up Team 1 cards, right, they actually start to fall off really badly, right, somewhere in, you know, during Wednesday, Thursday itself. So you probably want to be out of all your level up cards, right. By Tuesday, you have to be especially careful. And of course, for somebody like Varan, right, there's also the um, added threat of the... Maldini birthday SBC, right? Looming in the background itself. So be careful with all your center backs, right? Because Maldini might be coming. Because of that huge demand for games, right? It's actually very great for trading, for your fluctuation trading. Let me give you an example, right? I've been, I've spoken about this previously, right? So your George Best birthday, right? He fluctuates between about 400k, right? All the way up to about 470k. So, you know, when you see him hitting like the 400k mark, right, he's actually a very, very good pickup for you to make some easy coins there. Even somebody like your shapeshifter Bruno Fernandes, right? He goes from about 1.5 mil, right, all the way up to at about 1.95 mil, right, at his peak. So, right now, he's actually at a lower price. So, if you can get him at about 1.5 mil, right, it's actually a pretty good deal. So, fluctuation trading, right, it's actually really, really good right now if you know how to do it because there's so much demand for games. I told you guys that I want to show you guys the 83 selling at 2.6k, right? So take a look at this. I did spoken previously, right? Your 83s and 84s would do very, very well from a few videos ago because they would be required in SBCs. So take a look. We picked up your 83s, right? All at 850 coins. And we basically, right, triple our coins, selling them off at 2.6k. So your 84s also, like I already mentioned, right? Um in my discord itself i gave you guys the lazy list price of 84s right at about 3k or so and then they are already selling at about 3k and when you guys actually picked up 84s right when i told you guys to pick them up right they were actually at about 2.2 2.3k so you make some very easy coins there this is another member in the discord right um selling 88s because we sold 88s yesterday right from your 93 plus shapeshifter Player pick refreshing, right? This is an example of the 88 selling. I think I believe we bought 88s at about 13k or so, right? So those are good coins there. If you guys right didn't manage to sell all your 80 88s and 89s, right? No worries, right? We will still be able to sell them later on today because we have um upgrade pack coming like an 85 by something or 84 by something. So no worries there. And then of course, like I mentioned, right? Um Moments are very, very good to flip. This is a member in the Discord flipping moments right, at 20k. And then, of course, selling the informs right at max price. Because I told you guys, right, the informs fluctuate a lot during content drop. They go up quite a bit. And then, as well as your thoughts itself. More pages of your team of the week selling at max price. So if you can get on bid for your team of the week at 25k, get on and content, sell at 30. Good investment there. Just again, make sure that you sell all your team of the weeks by today because the SBC actually returns tomorrow, right? Your tradable team of the week. So yeah, another page of your informed selling. So you guys on YouTube, y'all only get the buy prices. You want to sell prices, join up the Discord while it's still currently free. I give you guys two sell prices. I even tell you guys, right, where to lazy list your cards, right? To actually make sure that you max out your profit, that you make the absolute most coins out of it. And we actually also have this Prime Gaming Pack, right? If you have Amazon Prime, you just have to link your Amazon Prime account to your EA Sports account and you actually get a free pack from EA every single month. It's actually very easy to do. I'll leave the link down below as to how to do it. And if you guys actually enjoy the content on my channel, right? Whether it's on YouTube or the selling prices on Discord that I've been providing for a very long time or even the regular Twitch streams, right? You can actually sub to me for free on Twitch. It's gonna be free for you, but it's gonna mean a lot to me and actually right gonna push me to give you guys right more good stuff on all the channels and all the platforms itself so i'll leave the link down below as to how to do both right below it's actually very very simple to do i want to thank you guys right for the incredible support you guys have shown to me on the youtube channel itself because we are actually broken past that 800 sub mark and right now we're actually very close to about 850 subs 
So let's go for the 1k, right? That's it from me. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more trading videos, more leaks, more latest news about the game itself, even from EAFC24, hit that sub button. Alright, and I'm out. Take care, guys.